Great to see everybody here on February 1st. I'm John Zadar. You're watching On Top and Hot. These are brought to you by Titan Trading. If you want to be a part of a group that talks about OTC and penny stocks, what's happening, you want to be a part of NFTs and cryptos, this is for you. We're free, so come on in. So today we're going to be taking a look at Basin Uranium. This is a Canadian mining company. They mine uranium, though they do have some gold mines as well. This company is really under the radar. I mean severely, but for good cause actually. One, they just got on the market, any market. They got on the Canadian market back in April of 2021 and just got on the OTC here in January. So they haven't got a lot of recognition yet. The other reason is because, well, they mine uranium and uranium it's been hibernating for a couple decades at least we haven't heard a lot about it but now with the carbonless footprint we're wanting to leave in the world the Paris Accord the green initiatives we're taking here in America the world's on board uranium is now the obvious choice for what we're looking for so they just made a deal, which is really what caught my attention to this company. They did just come on the market and they've really got nothing going for them except this deal right here. They got this property, they got 75% joint venture of the Man Lake Uranium Project. This is their flagship project. It is up there in the Athabasca Basin of Canada. Uh, this is between the MacArthur River Mine, the largest high grade uranium deposit in the world world, Carmico's Millium deposit, which is very rich, and adjoins the Man Lake JV joint venture. Now, if you look at this map, you can see that there are lots of areas in there. And you see the blue area right there in the center? That right there is their section. Now, down here, the Millennium deposit, this is very heavy. They've gotten a lot out of it. Up here at MacArthur River Mine, they've gotten a lot out of that. Each one of these big black yellow X's is where they're getting a lot of uranium. And look where they're at, right smack in the middle. And there have been all sorts of testings done on this area. So they're riding piggyback on the backs of all those tests. They know the area is rich. Now Canada isn't the largest supplier of uranium. Actually, they're the second. Number one is Kazakhstan. They give 42% of the world's uranium. Canada is giving 13%. However, the difference here is, is that the stuff coming out of Canada is 20 times better, average speaking, than the rest of the world. 20 times. So what we're getting out of this country is better than any other country we are getting. Primary focus on this is that it's clean. Compared with other fuel sources, uranium contains the highest energy density with one pellet, which is the size of a gummy bear. That's right, one little gummy bear of uranium is more powerful and contains more energy than one ton of coal, or 120 gallons of oil, or even 17,000 cubic feet of natural gas. And what's even more impressive is its carbonless factor with 92% less CO2 than uh, compared to hydroelectric power, 99.4 cleaner than natural gas and 99.6% cleaner than coal. And that's the whole point here. That's why uranium is important. And it's gotten safe now, folks. It's not like it used to be back in the 70s. We have got clean energy that is being monitored safely. And you can see down here, this is where we're heading. These are the nuclear reactors we have in the world, 1,334 of them, with 240 of them here in the United States. Now, we get about 55% of our energy from nuclear energy right now, but Biden wants to get a lot more, and it would help. And they have, what is it? I think they have... Uh, 898 nuclear facilities planned and under construction around the world. That's a lot of uranium that they're going to need. So I see a lot of potential for this company pushing forward simply because the whole world is on the same page. We all have the same science and uranium has proved itself to be where we are heading towards. And if Canada's got 
uranium 20 times better than any other country, I'm presuming most of the uranium we're going to start wanting is out of Canada. This is a new company. They're on the floor, ground floor opportunity at the right time. I've said it a couple of times here in the last few days. This company is in the right place at the right time and under the radar, nobody has noticed them, but they've got something that we're going to be needing. So what are the chances that this company is going to grow? The price of uranium is already jumping, which is why this company got into the market in the first place. It has been down for a couple of decades. And just here recently, in the last two years, it has more than doubled in its price. After being down for two decades, it has gone from $20 a pound to up over $50 a pound. And the other thing is, is that this company called Sprott Physical Uranium has already invested $1.3 billion into uranium and they are seeking another $3.6 billion because they know the potential of this market. I think it's going to be big, don't know how fast it's going to move, but there's only so much uranium in the world and Canada's got some pretty good stuff and it's close by. Now, this company has two pieces of news we need to take a look at. The most current piece of news is that they did get some property in Utah. Now, there was a bill passed uh, back when Trump was in office. They stopped uranium mining around uh, national parks. A particular one, I do believe, is uh, Grand National Park or something like that. But they can't mine there. So, Mining has become limited here and there are very few companies that are mining in the USA. So Basin Uranium announced that it has entered into a letter of intent to acquire 100% in the Ray Mesa project in San Juan County, Utah. Now we note that Ray Mesa is located in a tier one mining jurisdiction with the USA, which is expected to benefit from US domestic green energy initiatives. Historically, the project has seen an extensive amount of exploration with over 495 holes drilled dating back to the late 1970s. Well, of course, that's when we started using it a lot. As a result, extensive past exploration should, should allow the team to follow up on several high-grade historic intercepts. Again, they're piggybacking off of all the exploration. They can see how much has been here, 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 and you can find that proper zone to get into and then just do a couple tests and you can move ahead pretty fast. There are few exploration companies active in the USA, particularly those that also have high-grade uranium potential in the Athabasca Basin. I'm sure they're probably the only one. Now, the other piece of news we need to take a look at uh, just came out here at the end of the year. Really, it's just an overview of what happened in 2021. It was a big year for them. So we've got a comment here from the CEO. Last year was a year of significant development for the company, from IPO through a transformation acquisition, marking the company's entrance into the uranium industry. This, coupled with $6.1 million raised, will allow the company to chart a clear course through exploration and unlocking value for shareholders. The uranium industry is at an inflection point, with spot prices increasing over 60% from the past 24 months. As the world continues to demand greener power with smaller carbon footprints, based on state Aided goals and recent public policy developments, the demand for uranium will only continue to rise and further outstrip supply. And that's really what we're looking at here. Everything is now turning its focus on uranium. We've been away from it. And what does Warren Buffett say? Buy what everybody hates and sell what everybody loves. And right now, nobody is really focused on uranium. And there's a lot of attention from the governments focused on it. So I think as an investor, you need to put this on your watch list and keep an eye on it because uranium is something we're all going to want. It's clean. It provides us energy which is tick 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 across the boxes for every country. Now if we jump over here to the otcmarkets.com where the information is always current, never outdated, we can see that she did have an increase in volume today. Basin Uranium normally does about 1.7 thousand shares a day. It's not very impressive. Today she did 8.6 thousand. Again, not very impressive unless you consider the fact that that is almost a 500% increase in volume. It is a start. What is the share structure on this company? What kind of float do we have? 
we got a hot float almost 7 million 6.5 million shares in the float under 10 million that is literally a low float this should get attention just because of that and what it will get is when it does start to get some volume floats like that can rip absolutely now we're not going to see any financials because the company just came on the market in january 30 days isn't enough time and there's not going to be any disclosures either and though the chart doesn't have a lot to show let's go take a look at it just so you have a feel so now we're taking a look at burcf on tos that's thinkorswim that's the trading platform i use from td ameritrade it's free go get it now this is one year now look at the data look at the way it looks watch what happens when i come down to six months not much of a change right 20 days no change it's like the change in the background that's all they're changing this is all there is there is no before there is no history this is the birth of the company on the 19th of january of this year you've got three weeks of chart not much and of that this entire period here, about 10 days, it's been stuck at about 55, 56 cents, which is 50% down from its high of 72 cents. And it's just been sitting down here. But there's been no volume, so there's not going to be any price action. And why would there be any volume? There's nothing really spurring it on yet. And we know there's going to be because the bottom line is the world is going carbonless, right? We're trying to get rid of anything that creates carbon and uranium is the only option when it comes to creating power and electricity that has the least amount of carbon footprint. There's no other option and there's only a few places in the world that have uranium and Canada has got the best uranium, 20 times better on average than everybody else and as far as Americans go it's close it's very close so this company is up in Canada and they have property here in the US so they're gonna get the best of both worlds there what we got going on for our infrastructure and green initiatives and because they have access to some of the best uh, uranium in the world right next door so we're just waiting for everything to start happening we know it's going to and it's all a transition it's not going to be a light switch and this company is going to be recognized and probably is going to have value it's not being recognized now so now would be the time to consider it before everybody else starts looking at it do your own dd but this has potential if you like well sleeping giants now I know a uranium mine probably isn't at the top of your investment list, but consider this. The whole world is literally on the same page right now, and we are all on a precipice. We're all looking for an ample supply of energy that doesn't add to the carbon problem we're all trying to resolve. And uranium seems to be the most practical solution to all of those problems and this company has got property up in canada in the athabasca basin which is the world's highest grade uranium in the world and they are smack dab in the middle of all these other successful uranium mining companies now they haven't started doing anything because they just got on the market they just got that property it's just starting and the world is also just starting to resolve that problem. So if there was ever a time to at least consider a sleeping giant before it wakes up and stands up, now would probably be the time. But do your own DD. That's always most important because the more you know, <laughs> the more you're gonna grow. See ya folks.